Welcome back Rudy's Resurrection fans. It's tailgate time. So before I get the metal welded in the very back of the bed here, I'm going to have to add a, um, a piece here in the very back to support that. And I'm not sure how far out that needs to be welded. So I need to get the tailgate finished and on uh, in order to determine that. So that's going to be what we're going to be covering in this episode. So let's get started. All right, so I got my tailgate uh, here on my wooden stand and just starting to get some measurements on it. This thing is in pretty pretty bad shape, uh, rusted here. It's actually bent through the center here as, as, as the front or the top and the lower supports have, have really just about rusted in half. Here, so I'm just going to take some measurements. Um, I've got a piece of pipe that's about roughly about the same diameter here. So I'm going to try to dip, basically just kind of cut these side portions off. Um, probably just make a straight cut right down through here. Cut this this these welds out uh, of this edge. Um, cut them on the top and the bottom as well because I've got a I'm going to replace both the top and the bottom with just some thick wall pipe. Um, that will be a lot more durable. And then just kind of plan to weld the sheet metal part just sort of to that. And I don't know really how that's going to turn out right now, but, but we're going to jump in and, and get started. Um, so we get some measurements and get my pipe cut. Okay, so the bottom tube here measures 49 and 3 quarters. So since I added 10 inches into my bed, We'll cut this lower uh, pipe 59 and 3 quarters. So my plan to start with here, I've got my lower pipe cut. The correct length here is to just cut right along where this is welded into the flat part of the gate all the way around. And then I'm going to basically cut through these welds here on this little curved part at the bottom and just tack that to the end of the of the lower pipe here and um, then kind of do a similar thing in the top this little ear here that uh, is part of the latch kind of goes down it's got a sort of beefy part that kind of goes down in here is welded into this this portion here so I'm going to try to retain all that so my upper upper pipe that I'm going to weld in here, I'm going to try to bring basically right into this, you know, where this cut comes across. Um, try to come right into that and just weld that upper pipe in a similar similar fashion. Once I got that, it's sort of framed, basically. Then I can just cut the this panel part, kind of center that, and then I should have two five inch sections to weld in either side and that should be it.
All right, so after cutting the ends of the gate off, both ends, I just cut this lower part off, uh, just this little tube bit out, kind of leaving this curvature intact, and then just a little bit of a flange on the inside here as well, because I'm going to use that to basically weld that onto my new lower tube, kind of like that right there. Alright, so this is the right side looking from the back of the gate and I've just got a framing square in here to make sure that it's square to the pipe. I've got it set all the way kind of to the end here. I've got my edges freshened up so I'm going to go ahead and tack this in place. So now I'll tack the other side. Good. All right, so you're looking at the back side of the gate here, or the bedside, that's the bottom tube. I went ahead and tacked the upper tube in here, basically just kind of slid it into the corners until it hit that latch, um, this upper pipe, and then just tacked it in place. So I'm going to take it over to the truck now, pop it on the bed, make sure it's all square. Okay, looks like it's going to be a good fit. I've got the uh, the bottom of the hinge out on the passenger side. I can just slip that in there and see that it's going to line up perfectly with my bolt holes there. So I think that's going to be good. Like it. So back to working on the tailgate, and it's after work, and it's actually late. So I hope you can hear me over the crickets and the cicadas and everything but where I am is I basically just cut the uh, top and the bottom this is actually the top of the gate the remnant piece um, off because it was really rusty and here's the bottom uh, cut the bottom out and I've got it centered in this portion here so this is the center uh, I've got five inch gap on either side, which makes sense since I widened the bed by 10 inches. And so I'm just going to tack this in and um, then I'll just fill in the side pieces here.
So we'll flip it around and do the top now. Okay, so I think I've got a tack along the top enough to where that's going to hold. Uh, I'm going to get a few more tacks on the bottom, get that kind of straightened out, and then flip it over, and I'll have to put a little bit of filler, filler pieces in the front, I believe, maybe at the bottom, but we'll see when we get to that side. That looks like the beginnings of a tailgate. So we're just going to fold this front portion on the top down and tacked it along the front um, on the top bar and the bottom had a good bit more rust in the bottom so I had to cut this piece uh, this little lip a little bit shorter so I have to fill that in so once I get these kind of five inch and this is this is tailgate is 14 gauge once I get these pieces welded in from the other side then I'll just put a little filler piece across here and then kind of do the same thing at the bottom, just a little angled filler piece to come over and meet this part. All right, and then the tailgate will be done. So we'll get some more work done on it tomorrow. All right, well a couple weeks have passed, but I finally got around to getting the tailgate finished up. So I've got these, uh, where these patch panels were in, I've got all my welds finished up. Uh, welded all the way along the bottom on the inside um, Same deal on the other side here. I got pretty much all these welds completed All the way to the top and then if I flip it over I had some uh, Pieces I had to fill in kind of basically where I cut out. It was just really rusty here um, This is the top top bar um, Just patch this kind of down to meet this 
panel um, on the uh, on the ends. Same deal at the bottom here. Uh, then I had to put a couple pieces uh, in at the bottom where I basically had to come down and, and meet this, this bottom tube, uh, if you will, here. And then I've just got that all those welds finished up. Um, so it's really good and strong now. A whole lot better shape than it was before. So I think that's gonna do it's gonna do just fine. So well, let's get it on the truck. Okay, tailgate is on and done. Really happy with how it turned out. Um, obviously was able to, to kind of salvage the, the logo in the center and the majority of the of the color of the tailgate and everything, which I wanted to do. Um, but I'm real, real happy with how it turned out. Um, so I'm going to open it up here and it's working super well. Nice and tight, no rattle. Um, as you can see also, I've, I've got uh, the metal welded in the bed and I've got that bed liner and uh, that turned out really well. I've got all the seams and everything sealed up. I've got some drain holes kind of drilled in the front, so if there's any water that accumulates up there, um, then it'll drain out. Also made some, uh, some racks out of some old barn wood, actually from the barn um, uh, at basically my parents' house, barn that I remember growing up uh, in, basically, and, and they recently moved, relocated, and, and the barn, unfortunately, was torn down, but we managed to save a lot of the siding off of it, so definitely got some kind of sentimental um, aspect of, of these of these racks. So uh, my parents recently came down for a visit, brought the wood down, and, and so we uh, saw those out and they helped me make those racks. So that's going to be it for the tailgate episode. Uh, again, real happy with how it turned out. Fits really super nice. And um, so probably not going to be uh, any episodes coming out anytime before the F100 Super Nationals, which is a couple of weeks away. Um, Probably the next episode may be actually some, some footage from that show. So hopefully Rudy will make it up there and, and we'll be up there and, and having a good time and looking at some awesome trucks. Um, hope to see you all there. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you found this, this useful. If you're uh, doing, a, doing a flare side and, and need to repair your tailgate or you're widening your bed, that kind of thing, um, hope you find it useful. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.